Hello friends, this is Dr. Umesh Kumar Arya, Faculty of Media Studies. In this tutorial today, we are going to learn some of the functions of MS Word which are important for the researchers. First, we will go to the MS Word. This is one of the publications and uh, this is the standard format of the publication like abstract biographical data introduction and other pages so the tables the headings and the affiliations they are on the separate pages abstract on the separate pages this is the typical research publication writing style of the American Psychological Association which is widely accepted in the academia so friends uh, we would discuss four or five uh, tools of the MS Word which are essential for the researchers in order to uh, have a good command over uh, the research process uh, we would start by putting the line numbers on the lines like first we will go to page layout then we would click line numbers and then continuous like see this document has automatically come in the editable uh, mode it has given line numbers now every line has a number like this line starting line of the abstract has got the 36 number so if you scroll down then you will find that every line has been numbered so friends what is the function of uh, these lines the function of these lines is whenever you receive any research publication for reviewing then it would be very easy for you if you put the line numbers uh, in this document and then you write your research report like if I want to say that uh, I have some uh, comments regarding uh, this line of the abstract so instead of just writing that uh, first second third fourth fifth uh, fifth line of the abstract starting from the agenda setting behavior we have some problem in that so instead of uh, doing this we would just say that if we go to the line number 40 this is the 40 number and these words can be modified so this is one method since every line has been documented now so this is a very easy method of reviewing the research publications and most of the research journals and the reputed conferences uh, they send you the uh, publication for review like this but if you don't get the publication in the line numbers and uh, the publication is in the PDF format then you must convert it in the word MS Word format first by going to the PDF online.com like you can go to PDF online.com and there you can convert the PDF file into MS Word format and then open here and then go to the page layout and line numbers there are different options related to the line numbers like restart each page so you will get uh, a new set of line numbers every page or you can have the new set of line numbers for every section and you can suppress uh, the line numbers also 
plus if you click line number options then you will have so many options in this So you can click in that and select your favorite option so friends this was the line numbers it is very helpful in reviewing the publication uh, the second one is the track changes you go to review and go to track changes and you click this now this option is on now what does what does this uh, track option uh, does for you uh, if you have saved the document while pressing the track changes on and th this uh, publication is sent to you by your publication for further improvements then they would be able to track the changes which you have made in the document after this file was sent to you for example now this track changes is on and if I remove this word citizen I delete it now see it is not deleting I am going to delete this centered also I will click this and I will delete press delete see it is not deleting rather it is putting in the red and with a strike through so the research publication which has sent you this would know that uh, you have deleted these two words subject to their approval now if you want to add something for example 9 Indian dailies 9 Indian English dailies now see the addition is in the underline form so whatever you add or whatever you delete would be tracked and if you want to see a comprehensive layout of the research publication after applying the track changes then I show you one of my publications like this is the perfect format for the track changes like states it has been striked through it means it won't be appearing in the final draft and if I add something here then it is in the red so wherever the publication is in the red with the underline it means that the author has added this material subject to the approval from the research publication and wherever it is striked through it means it is to be deleted now suppose I am on the research publication side and I have received this document from the author then I have to either accept these changes or reject these changes then what I would do I would go to again review ok I open this I have made these two changes so either I can reject accept these changes or I can reject these changes so if I accept that accept change see what is the difference here when I accept the change then it is there if I reject it then ok, okay. if I reject then if I place the cursor here on the changed part and I click accept change 
the moment I press accept change the citizen centered strike through would be deleted see accept change now it is not there it means I have deleted this and the author uh, the final research publication person they, they have accepted this change now I have changed this also it means it was this English word was added here now the author pub, uh, the author wants to put this word English here but the research publication people they don't want this word here so what they would do they would just place the cursor here anywhere or you can select it also and you will go to reject and you will press reject change the moment it is rejected see the change is rejected or if I accept it then you see it is accepted it means English word stays here so one by one you have to do this for example Umesh Kumar Arya my name is uh, deleted here and if I go to track changes and I accept that then it would be deleted see it is deleted and if I say that I am rejected this change then it is there so you can track the changes made in this document by the author and you can either accept them or reject them so friends uh, this method of tracking the changes uh, keeps you updated with every change which the author has made and uh, you can either accept them or reject them so this was the second tool a very common tool of inserting the references in MS Word is there but the researchers normally don't use that and what is that function it is go to the reference insert the footnote and inserting the inserting the end note and inserting the footnote so friends what does it mean if I place the cursor here University of Science and Technology and I insert a footnote here then I will go to insert the footnote like this one would be created it means one footnote is there and we can tell more about this university like this Guru Jambheshwar University of Science and Technology I have placed one footnote here and here I can write university can be be yeah so I can write many more lines these lines they are not to be written here because that would be slightly awkward so if you want to define something like new media I want to define so if I write the definition here then it would not uh, seem appropriate rather I can go to the insert footnote and I can insert another footnote and see it is auto numbering it like first two and I can write the definition of a new media here if I remove this and take the word to the new page then this footnote would also be taken to the next page so footnotes are very very important part of the research which immediately clarifies the above line term and uh, coming to the endnote endnote is nothing but the footnote in the end like some research publications these days they are preferring endnote uh, rather than the footnote 
if we insert endnote then all the references would be accumulated would be inserted at the end of the document and not on the uh, pages for example if you come to the page number one okay then this is the footnote if we click this then it will straight away go to that particular footnote it is in the pages only if we click this then again we will go to the particular footnote so footnote is on the foot of the pages and endnote is in the last so both are important at their own places but at least uh, we can define the difficult terms in terms of footnote so that the viewer is immediately uh, notified of the definition so friends these were some of the functions of MS Word let's apply them and write a good research publication thank you very much thanks for watching